Hey, this is David and Jeff, and today we're gonna get this Torino running, and you can tell, probably see the snow in the air. We're in Northern Michigan in December. Yeehaw. So we have a 72 Ford Grand Torino, and we believe transplanted in 429 Cobra Jet. They probably lit on fire, because that's what they all do. Brakes locked up? Let's go with brakes are locked up. Okay. Too bad we can't move this one. Brake pedal goes right to the floor. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That's what makes these run. I don't see any fuel just uh, running anywhere. Whoa. Oh. Hey, there's fuel in the tank. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. That actually scared me. Jeff, you know all the backstory on this car yeah. because you've, call it, lived with it, so to speak, so tell me. Yeah, this car uh, was the, uh, the pride and joy of a guy who, I mean, this car never came out of the garage. When it did, it was pampered. Um, last time I, car, I saw this car, it was in mint condition. And to actually see it sitting outside um, in this condition, it, it, it bums me out, but it's, uh, it's still here. It's been sitting here a while, mate. Oh, yeah, it's been sitting there. There may I not mean, be anything under the hood, right? Might not. Oh, I don't, get I don't that. like the air cleaner being off of it. Well, that's because the mice ate the Edelbrock uh, foam. I think we should pull the plugs, check the oil, see if she turns over. Okay. Okay. Oh, you still got the sticker on it. Oh, she turns. Ah, uh, turns. We're good. All right, let's make it work. All right, let's do it. <laughs> She's full. Pretty clean. Well, I mean, it's a little dark, but... It didn't come out in chunks. It did not come out in chunks. That's the key. No chunks. No chunks and no white and creamy. That bad. That bad, bad. Guess what? What's up? We don't have to do points in this. It's a Unilite. Oh, nice. It's an eyeball. So it has an aftermarket Mallory distributor in it, which is referred to or branded as a Unilite. And what it is should not have any points. It's an eyeball, electronic eyeball. So call it electronic ignition. And it's going to excel. Super stock coil. I wonder where the top of the air cleaner is. Uh, it's, it's that foam with the cage. It's gone. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's one of those Edelbrocks. It's, yeah. It probably lit yeah. on fire because that's what they all do. They get a little backfire and they'll light on fire and yep. then people lose their cars. You know, of all the places out here for this to be sitting on this pad is a pretty good spot. I mean, you got moss growing and all, but... Yeah, we won't have grass wicking up into yeah, it. Yeah, right. Those are big plugs, aren't they? Yeah, it's a big one. <clears throat> hey, how come I grab the driver's side every time? I don't know. Must be a control thing. I must must think, be. I must think I'm in control, man. Oh! Do not want to snap a plug. No. Been there, done that before. Yeah. Ever tell you about working on my Impala I had in the snow in Houghton? No. Actually, Chassel, but. Pretty dark. Underneath it. It's fantastic. Black. Black and sooty? Yep. Not going to uh, be lean. What's on the front support? Toe mean? strap. Oh. Brakes locked up? Let's go with brakes are locked up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stay optimistic. <laughs> I'm gonna spray a little bit of what we've been using this deep creep. Just to, just to put something on the cylinder walls for the piston rings. Just helps it so if we, as it, that first initial rollover, you got something to. Yeah, some kind of lubricant there. Make it easier on the starter if nothing else, right? <clears throat> that probably is getting low. Da, da, da. Oh, 
put a little on the threads too, going back in. So should we throw fresh plugs at her or try to see if these will burn? I'd like to see if we can get these to run. Okay. Um, other than just being a little black and sooty, I think they're... Yeah, probably fine. Uh, we can clean can, them. Yeah, I was going to say, I can wire brush them. Wire brush them at least, right? Um, what are your thoughts on the stuff on the carburetor? Should we at least pull that... You're talking take, about the choke the, and... Yeah, I, I think before we try to even crack the, the throttle on this, I, I'm going to suggest we at least try to blow some air across it with that vacuum. Okay. The yeah. output on that vacuum just to blow it out. Yep. At least any big, you know, whatever we can get. I mean, it's, I'll just put my hand over it. No, I'm actually going to blow in that to get that out. I'm not, not this stuff. I got you. I ain't worried about that. The plastic doesn't like the cold. I think the snow flying in is a little nice, a little added effect. Yeah, you know it, is. I mean? it is. I mean, dust is one thing, but it is. Golly, it's uh, what do they call that? Uh, oh, oh yeah. I can't think of the word. Production value. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. This snow's fake California snow machine there, ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You want to disconnect the gas line if we're going to be cranking it, just in case there is gas in it. We push some old gas down the carb. Uh, probably not a bad idea. Yeah, just disconnect. And we'll see if it is. See what it blows out. <clears throat> I mean, we could hook up to the on the bottom and draw it, but I think we should just use our make sure we got our fresh fuel coming in. Just pop it right up there at that. A lot of mileage out of this Subaru better. I have no room here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's why I switched to this side. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> you caught that move? Uh huh. I didn't push you out of the way at least. I mean, I just walked over here. I think it's sat long enough. You want to put the plugs back in? I say we turn it over first. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll let you do the honors. Oh, I got the key, right? You got you the key. See if we can... Let you do the honor. Spin that over. Uh, give it a couple pokes. See what we get. Tum, tum. Whoops, tumble and fall. <coughs> I'm ready if you are. Ooh, yeah, we have no brakes. Okay. Okay. Let her rip. Oh, beautiful. Heck yeah. We have fuel come out. Um, no. Because I can smell it. Yeah. <clears throat> nope. Yeah, that's coming out of the board. Spin her some more. That's good. Too bad we can't move this one. Brake pedal goes right to the floor. That's why the toe strap's on it. Just for the sake of not scratching our head, throw one spark plug in. Let's see if we got spark. Yep. Yeah, we put it up. Put it like right here. He yeah, can see it that spot. way too. Oh yeah. Nice. I, I think this, this is an only Mallory cap. Well, yeah, because it's one. It's a it's a Chevy. It actually, it's a Chevy cap. Is what it is. That is. Yeah, because it's got the internal. You know how the 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 female plug instead of the male. Yeah. On the cap. No. No. Yeah. Spark plug towers. Um. So let me guess. You want me to stop talking and put uh, plugs in? Oh, you can, you Did you, can, you can <laughs> continue my commentary of, <laughs> of nothing? Of Chevy caps on Of Fords. Chevy caps on Fords. <sighs> These hoses are like right in the... Those hoses are in the way. They weren't over here. 
I didn't push you out of the way at least. I mean, I just walked over here. <laughs> well, since we don't have uh, fuel in the tank, let's get our fuel jug over here, get that filled. Uh, my wife and I figured it out last night. 27 years ago, I went for a ride in this car. The only time I've ever been in this car. Tim, uh, the owner, I was begging him, begging him to take me for a drive. And uh, we took it out here to Nicolay and he did a whole shot <laughs> going towards Mackinac City. And I've never, I've never been in a car, you know, 16, 17 years old. I've never been in a car that made you have that feeling of being pinned to the seat and you can't move. And, you know, it was, it was an impeccable feeling. And it was this car that, you know, that did that. Pretty, pretty unique to actually be sitting here seeing if uh, we can get it running. Am I shaking? I don't feel like I'm shaking. Maybe. And the wires are st stiff. And... All right. Remember, the key is always suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That's what makes these run. We know we have fire. We know we have good movement in the crank, uh, in the piston, so we should have the suck in the blow and the squeeze, right? It should be there. Now we just gotta ignite it. So run an electric fuel pump off our gas can coming up into the carburetor. Um, kind of pre-primed it here a little bit. I don't see any fuel just uh, running anywhere. Uh, so that should be a good sign. Uh, did we even try to see if this uh, turns you? Oh yeah, she's free. So throttle's free. I'm gonna squirt some fuel down the hole and you want me to you're gonna key? spin the ignition. All Heck right. yeah. <clears throat> and I can work the throttle out here, or yeah, you can, I don't have, I mean, whichever. <clears throat> very basic dashboard. I'll put a little more fuel in her. That's too bad. Let's uh, put a little here. You tell me when you're ready. Hit it. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> that actually scared me. That scared you? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready to have the exhaust <laughs> right under me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Open headers, man. Yeah. Open headers. All right, header. Oh, come on, carburetor. Go. Oh. Go. Well, well, hey, there's fuel in the tank. <laughs> it just comes shooting out of the that's what I kind of out of the out. gas line. Got me. Um, fuel. it is very green. The fuel's green. Yeah. Oh yeah. The fuel out of the tank. Oh. Um, I'm thinking the carburetor squirters are plugged, like the so the idle air mixer is yeah. not happening. Yeah. So I'll uh. Is any when you work the 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 throttle arm? Does anything happen? I can't. I can't, I can't really it. see in there. Yeah, no. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, we no no pump, no pump function that way. Well, we can kind of decide what we want to do there, but let's take and keep trying to trying to run it this way because it might it might finally just kind of pick up after having some amount of fuel in back in the bowl. All right, ready, Jeff? Let's do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm still getting fuel out of this old fuel line, though. Yeah. 
I'm tempted to take the top of the carburetor off. But I want to get this, what's left of the air cleaner there off a lot of it. I, th I think we may have to pull that carburetor in just, uh, or even just the top of the carburetor and try to blow some carb cleaner through the jets. Because I think it's just gunked up so it won't draw any fuel in. Yeah, <clears throat> to just keep running. And I, as much as I'd like to think I could pour enough in that bottle to keep it running, I, I'm just, I, it's not. What is that carb? Look like a motorcraft to me. Did you look, you look down the back? As far as squirt? Yeah. Yeah, I looked in both. I don't see anything coming out of it. And maybe the, even the inlet is just plugged and I'm not getting fuel into it. That's what I'm saying. Because that's that, possible that too. That filter, I'd like to bypass the filter. Yeah. I mean, we can pull the filter off and just blow fuel through it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or fill the bowl. We could fill the bowl. Because <clears throat> I bet you, I, I bet you that's what it is. I bet you the this is like we we've had in the past, right? The needle stick, yeah, completely closed. Yep. So that's what it's. I bet you anything that's what it's doing. It's just not getting fuel down in there. Um, let's pull. Is that the accelerator pump? Yeah. Yeah, cause that's sticky as. Oh yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. can be. Yeah. Well, it's dry. Yeah. There's no fuel in it. So, so let's this. let's pull this. Let's pull this top off. Okay. I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. We don't have problems with the fuel. I disconnected the fuel line coming up from the tank. Holy moly! You want to stand over here to you? <laughs> What'd you do? Talking about your screwdriver. <laughs> I, I wanted to get the longest one. Here, well, you don't want to get it. You don't have to be so far away. Yet. <laughs> take, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to take the hood off to get to this. We're just making sure we have room to film. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, she's bone dry. That's a hundred percent what it's doing. Hundred percent. That needle, that needle stuck, stuck, You're stuck. Um, I'm gonna pull the fuel line off, pull the fuel line off, then we can just come and flip it completely out of the way. Maybe like, there it is. It smokes after I blow on it. Huh. Yeah, this thing's stuck, it's stuck. Can you feel it going, see if it's going through? Oh yeah, there it goes. We only got one can, don't we? I don't think we got two in there anymore. Much better that way. It's that filter, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Partially. I got some coming through it though now at least. We'll be good now. I'd say we put fuel right in that. Let's fill the bowls up. Okay. And then uh, just with the squirt bottle. You want to see if the suck will... Well, at least, at least we start when we put it on with fuel in the bowl. So fill that bowl. I just take that top and pour it right in there. Now, weasel this thing back in there. So once you snake yours on. Yeah. Without pain with that. I gotta get this hat out of my own eye. I don't know what you get. You have to line everything up over there. I only got one thing, right? There we go. Come up a little better. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, I'll make yourself useful. I'll make myself useful. I'll stop watching. Yeah, I di I disconnected at the bottom. Jeez. So it can't it can't draw from the tank now. Okay. Well, I went to disconnect it, and then the line started leaking, and I'm like, man, cutting it off is it going to be the same thing? So I just cut it off. Now the next person that comes to shoot this. Ah, oh, son, son of a bitch, cut the fuel. Yeah, right. But now I should be able to see some. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, that, that accelerator pump isn't, isn't working, but I, I think at least now we know we got fuel in the in the bowl. In the bowl and it should right? We should be able to draw something I would think. Round two. Round two. Ready? Yep. All right, go. Got her. Did you Got actually her. have your accelerator pump working there? Uh, no, I. but I, uh, that filter yeah. has got a leak. Oh. So that blew fuel out. Okay. Didn't didn't backfire though. No, it didn't. Or started on fire. Um, yeah, so I don't know the 100% that we're getting fuel in it yet, but the fuel that was in a bowl, she lit and it runs. It does run. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. I don't think this car would take much. No. Uh-uh. You know, go through that carburetor, oil change. Yep. I think some rubber would probably rot as you found. Oh, yeah, all yeah, yeah. Lines and Replace all, probably... the, all the soft lines on it. Yeah. She'd be rocking. Be rocking. Well, Tim's probably looking down on us and laughing right now. Yep. Smiling. I, I would think so. I would think so. Man, that feels good. Yeah, it does. I dig it. Another episode of Will It Run? And the answer is yes, it runs. Might need a little more fuel action, but hey, it sat and purred and no knocks. And it hasn't been running in yeah, at least two decades, yep. I would guess. This episode's wrapped up. We're on to the next one. Hopefully slightly warmer. Just saying. So if you happen to be in the south, give me a yell. Till then, get out in the shop. Get your work done. Enjoy your project. See you.